Hello and welcome to a DEXIS OP3D Pro clinical training video for acquiring 3D CBCT radiographic images. This video covers proper patient positioning, scan size selections, and image acquisition. To select a specific topic, use the seek bar on this video. For an overview of the DEXIS OP3D Pro, click the thumbnail at the top right corner of this video. Prepare the unit for use. Place the chin rest and move the patient head support into its topmost position. To adjust the height of the head support, press the height adjustment button. Release the button to re-engage. Open temple supports by turning the adjustment knob counterclockwise. Place barriers on the chin rest and temple supports. The proper use of these positioning devices is critical for minimizing patient movement during 3D image acquisition. While this video will show image capture with the patient standing, depending on scan time and the patient's needs, you can also acquire the image with the patient in a seated position. Once the patient is selected in your imaging software, use the unit's touch screen and select the 3D tab. Select the appropriate field of view. The system offers a variety of scan sizes and resolutions to minimize patient exposure relative to the detail required for the patient's particular need. The available field of view options and scan sizes are based upon the sensor panel size of your unit. When using a small panel, choose 5x5, 6x8. The medium panel includes 8x8, 8x15, and the optional 13x15. Select the area of interest to be scanned. On the touch screen, touch anywhere within the displayed dentition. A circle with a crosshair, the field of view cursor, will appear. This circle corresponds to the size of the previously selected scan. Move the FOV cursor to cover the area of interest. For precise adjustments, use the arrow keys. Choose a resolution for the field of view. There are low, standard, and high resolution options. There is also an endo resolution for the 5x5 field of view that provides the highest level of detail. Please refer to the unit's user manual for more information on imaging program selection. A link to the manual is included in the description below this video. The Scout feature is used to ensure proper patient positioning prior to acquiring a 3D image. The Scout image requires significantly less radiation than a 3D scan. Use of this feature helps prevent additional patient exposure due to patient positioning errors. Set MAR, the metal artifact reduction feature, to on or off based on your estimation of the need to reduce scatter that can appear in images of patients with a high amount of metal restorations. Tap the Patient In button on the positioning panel. The unit will rotate into the Patient In position. When the Ready indicator on the panel turns green, the unit is ready for a patient. Prepare the patient by asking them to remove any removable metal artifacts from the top of their head to their shoulders. These may include earrings, necklaces, hairpins, hearing aids, or other removable appliances from the shoulders and above. Properly place a protective lead apron over the patient in accordance with local regulations. Instruct the patient to stand as straight and tall as possible in front of the unit for preliminary alignment. Adjust the unit's height using the up and down arrows on the positioning panel. Move the unit so that the chin rest is level with the patient's chin. Ask the patient to step forward to grip the handles and place their chin on the chin rest. To check the patient's head position, press the laser light button on the positioning panel. Three lights will appear. Align the mid-sagittal laser light. This vertical line should pass directly through the center of the philtrum. Ensure the patient's head is not turned or tilted. Compensate for misalignments by manually moving the patient's head into the proper position. Ensure that the patient's occlusal plane is horizontal. Manually move the patient's head to compensate. Adjust unit height and chin support height to ensure the area of interest is between the top and bottom FOV laser light lines. Close the temple supports by rotating the adjustment knob clockwise. If you would like to show the patient how the rotating unit works or to ensure proper clearance of the patient prior to exposure, use the test mode by pressing the test icon on the touch screen. After selecting test mode, press the exposure button no radiation will emit to initiate the test. To acquire a scout image, once the patient is properly positioned, press the Start button on the positioning panel. Move a safe distance away, at least six feet or behind a suitable x-ray shield, while maintaining a line of sight to the patient during exposure. During the short exposure, an audible signal will occur and the exposure warning symbol on the touchscreen display appears. Release the exposure button when the audible signal stops. 
The 2D scout preview images appear on the touchscreen, one lateral and one periapical. If needed, fine-tune the scout position using the arrow keys on the touchscreen. This adjusts the position of the 3D scan area. Press the Save icon on the upper right corner to continue. You can now retake the scout image if needed or proceed directly to 3D image acquisition. Select a 3D resolution, check the patient's position again, and make any needed adjustments. Ask the patient to press their tongue to the roof of their mouth, swallow, and remain still for the duration of the exposure. Inform the patient that part of the machine will rotate around their head and an audible sound will occur. Both stop when the exposure is complete. Press the Start button on the positioning panel. Move a safe distance away of at least six feet or behind a suitable X-ray shield while maintaining line of sight to the patient during exposure. Press and hold down the exposure button. The rotating unit rotates around the patient's head. An audible signal and the exposure warning symbol on the touchscreen will appear. Once the image has been acquired, the rotating unit and the audible signal stop. Release the exposure button. Release the temple support using the adjustment knob and carefully guide the patient out of the unit. Remove all disposable covers and disinfect the unit following the directions in the user manual.